Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Vigo Fuentes and welcome to the Kingdom Faith Adore channel. My, uh, so if you hear me, uh, <clears throat> my speech is acting funny. I think I'm starting to have a uh, little bit of a cold. So I just had a sore throat yesterday. It's painful to swallow and talk like that. But praise God. I am a little bit better than yesterday. Uh, my nose is kind of stuffed up, so um, so you can, you know, my 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 voice is kind of weird. So anyway, uh, today we're going to get into uh, Jeremiah chapter five through eight today, and then tomorrow we'll get into chapters nine through twelve. And uh, next week, I'm going to be working on. Uh, no, sorry, next week. Um. I checked my uh, work schedule. I will be working next Saturday and Sunday, which means that I will be be uh, pre-recording the uh, the services in the mornings rather than you know late at night, uh, so that I can get that get that done and hopefully uh, post it as soon as possible. But anyway, that's all the. Announcements that I have before we get started. Let's go ahead and pray. Let's get into the word Heavenly Father Lord, we just uh, thank you Lord for today. Thank you Lord for all that you've done Father Lord you are holy mighty worthy to be praised Father, I pray that you would heal me from this cold Father and I pray in the name of Jesus Lord Lord if we have sin in our hearts Lord we repent and I would pray that you would uh Help us, Lord, to receive your word and to understand your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, Jeremiah chapter 5. Chapter 5. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem, and see now, and know, and seek in the broad places thereof. If ye can find a man, if there be any that executeth judgment, that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. And though they say the Lord liveth, surely they swear falsely. O Lord, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Therefore I said, Surely these are poor, they are foolish, for they know not the way of the Lord, nor the judgment of their God. I will get me unto the great men, and will speak unto them, for they have known the way of the Lord, and the judgment of their God. But these have altogether broken the yoke, and burst the bonds. Wherefore a lion out of the forest shall slay them, and a wolf of the evening shall spoil them. A leopard shall watch over their cities. Every one that goeth out thence shall be torn in pieces, because their transgressions are many, and their backslidings are increased. How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me, and sworn by them that are no gods. When I had fed them to the full, they then committed adultery, and assembled themselves by troops in the harlots' houses. They were as fed horses in the morning, every one neighed after his neighbor's wife. Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord? And shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Go ye up upon her walls and destroy, but make not a full end. Take away her battlements, for they are not the Lord's. For the house of Israel and the house of Judah have dealt very treacherously against me, saith the Lord. They have belied the Lord and said, It is not he. Neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we see sword nor famine. And the prophets shall become wind, and the word is not in them. Thus shall it be done unto them. Wherefore thus saith the Lord God of hosts, Because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, 
and this people would, and it shall devour them. Lo, I will bring a nation upon you from far, O house of Israel, saith the Lord. It is a mighty nation, it is an ancient nation, a nation whose language thou knowest not, neither understandest what they say. Their quiver is as an open sepulchre, they are all mighty men. And they shall eat up thine harvest and thy bread, which thy sons and thy daughters should eat. They shall eat up thy flocks and thine herds, they shall eat up thy vines and thy fig trees. They shall impoverish thy fenced cities, wherein thou trustedst with the sword. Nevertheless, in those days, saith the Lord, I will not make a full end with you. And it shall come to pass when ye shall say, Wherefore doeth the Lord our God all these things unto us? Then shalt thou answer them, Like as ye have forsaken me and served strange gods in your land, so shall ye serve strangers in a land that is not yours. Declare this in the house of Jacob, and publish it in Judah, saying, Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. Fear ye not me, saith the Lord? Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it? And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. But this people hath a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Neither say they in their heart, Let us now fear the Lord our God that giveth rain, both the former and the latter in his season. He reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest, your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholden good things from you. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that setteth snares. They set a trap. They catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore they are become great and waxen rich. They are waxen fat. They shine. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy do they not judge. Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? Chapter 6 Chapter 6 O ye children of Benjamin, gather yourselves to flee out of the midst of Jerusalem, and blow the trumpet in Tekoa, and set up a sign of fire in beth Hakarim. For evil appeareth out of the north, and great destruction. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. The shepherds with their flocks shall come unto her. They shall pitch their tents against her round about. They shall feed every one in his place. Prepare ye war against her. Arise and let us go up at noon. Woe unto us, for the day goeth away, for the shadows of the evening are stretched out. Arise, and let us go by night, and let us destroy her palaces. For thus <clears throat> hath the Lord of hosts said, Hew ye down trees, and cast a mount against Jerusalem. This is the city to be visited. She is holy oppression in the midst of her. As a fountain casteth out her waters, so she casteth out her wickedness. Violence and spoil is heard in her. Before me continually is grief and wounds. Be thou instructed, O Jerusalem, lest my soul depart from thee, lest I make thee desolate, a land not inhabited. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, They shall thoroughly glean the remnant of Israel as a vine. Turn back thine hand as a grape-gatherer into the baskets. 
To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. Therefore I am full of the fury of the Lord. I am weary with holding in. I will pour it out upon the children abroad and upon the assembly of young men together. For even the husband with the wife shall be taken, the aged with him that is full of days. And their houses shall be turned unto others with their fields and wives together. For I will stretch out my hand upon the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord. For from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, every one is given to covetousness. And from the prophet, even unto the priest, every one dealeth falsely. They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore they shall fall among them that fall. At the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. Also I set watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not hearken. Therefore hear ye, nations, and know, O congregation, what is among them. Hear, O earth. Behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it. To what purpose cometh there to me incense from Sheba, and the sweet cane from a far country? Your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor your sacrifices sweet unto me. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people, and the fathers and the sons together shall fall upon them. The neighbor and his friend shall perish. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, a people cometh from the north country, and a great nation shall be raised from the sides of the earth. They shall lay hold on bow and spear. They are cruel and have no mercy. Their voice roareth like the sea, and they ride upon horses set in array as men for war against thee, O daughter of Zion. We have heard the fame thereof. Our hands wax feeble. Anguish hath taken hold of us, and pain as of a woman in travail. Go not forth into the field, nor walk by the way, for the sword of the enemy and fear is on every side. O daughter of my people, gird thee with sackcloth, and wallow thyself in ashes. Make thee mourning as for an only son, most bitter lamentation, for the spoiler shall suddenly come upon us. I have set thee for a tower and a fortress among my people, that thou mayest know and try their way. They are all grievous revolters, walking with slanders. They are brass and iron. They are all corruptors. The bellows are burned, the lead is consumed of the fire. The founder melteth in vain, for the wicked are not plucked away. Reprobate silver shall men call them, because the Lord hath rejected them. Chapter 7. Chapter 7. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Stand in the gate of the Lord's house, and proclaim there this word, and say, Hear the word of the Lord, all ye of Judah, that enter in at these gates to worship the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Amend your ways and your doings, and I will cause you to dwell in this place. Trust ye not in lying words, saying, The temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, are these. 
For if ye thoroughly amend your ways and your doings, if ye thoroughly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, if ye oppress not the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, and shed not innocent blood in this place, neither walk after other gods to your hurt, then will I cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers, for ever and ever. Behold, ye trust in lying words that cannot profit. Will ye steal, murder, and commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense unto Baal, and walk after other gods whom ye know not, and come and stand before me in this house which is called by my name, and say, We are delivered to do all these abominations? Is this house which is called by my name become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, even I have seen it, saith the Lord. But go ye now into my place which was in Shiloh, where I set my name at the first, and see what I did to it for the wickedness of my people Israel. And now, because ye have done all these works, saith the Lord, and I spake unto you, rising up early and speaking, but ye heard not, and I called you, but ye answered not. Therefore will I do unto this house which is called by my name, wherein ye trust, and unto the place which I gave to you and to your fathers, as I have done to Shiloh. And I will cast you out of my sight, as I have cast out all your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. Therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. Seest thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods, that they may provoke me to anger. Do they provoke me to anger, saith the Lord? Do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces? Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, mine anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place, upon man and upon beast, and upon the trees of the field and upon the fruit of the ground, and it shall burn and shall not be quenched. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Put your burnt offerings unto your sacrifices, and eat flesh. For I spake not unto your fathers, nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt, concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices. But this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and ye shall be my people. And walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. But they hearkened not, nor inclined their ear, but walked in the counsels and in the imagination of their evil heart, and went backward and not forward. Since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt unto this day, I have even sent unto you all my servants the prophets, daily rising up early and sending them. Yet they hearkened not unto me, nor inclined their ear, but hardened their neck. They did worse than their fathers. Therefore thou shalt speak all these words unto them, but they will not hearken to thee. Thou shalt also call unto them, but they will not answer thee. But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord their God, nor receiveth correction. Truth is perished and is cut off from their mouth. Cut off thine hair, O Jerusalem, and cast it away, and take up a lamentation on high places. For the Lord hath rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. For the children of Judah have done evil in my sight, saith the Lord. They have set their abominations in the house which is called by my name to pollute it. And they have built the high places of Tophet, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire, which I commanded them not, neither came it into my heart. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be called Tophet, nor the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter. For they shall bury in Tophet, 
till there be no place. And the carcasses of this people shall be meat for the fowls of the heaven and for the beasts of the earth, and none shall fray them away. Then will I cause to cease from the cities of Judah and from the streets of Jerusalem the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, for the land shall be desolate. Chapter 8. <clears throat> Chapter 8. At that time, saith the Lord, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah, and the bones of his princes, and the bones of the priests, and the bones of the prophets, and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves. And they shall spread them before the sun and the moon and all the host of heaven, whom they have loved and whom they have served, and after whom they have walked, and whom they have sought, and whom they have worshipped. They shall not be gathered nor be buried, they shall be for dung upon the face of the earth. And death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family, which remain in all the places whither I have driven them, saith the Lord of hosts. Moreover thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Shall they fall and not arise? Shall he turn away and not return? Why then is this people of Jerusalem slidden back by a perpetual backsliding? They hold fast deceit. They refuse to return. I hearkened and heard, but they spake not aright. No man repented him of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? Every one turned to his course, as the horse rusheth into the battle. Yea, the stork in the heaven knoweth her appointed times, and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming. But my people know not the judgment of the Lord. How do ye say, We are wise, and the law of the Lord is with us? Lo, certainly in vain made he it. The pen of the scribes is in vain. The wise men are ashamed, they are dismayed and taken. Lo, they have rejected the word of the Lord. And what wisdom is in them? Therefore will I give their wives unto others, and their fields to them that shall inherit them. For every one from the least even unto the greatest is given to covetousness. From the prophet even unto the priest every one dealeth falsely. For they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore shall they fall among them that fall. In the time of their visitation they shall be cast down, saith the Lord. I will surely consume them, saith the Lord. There shall be no grapes on the vine, nor figs on the fig tree, and the leaf shall fade. And the things that I have given them, shall pass away from them. Why do we sit still? Assemble yourselves and let us enter into the defensed cities, and let us be silent there. For the Lord our God hath put us to silence and given us water of gall to drink, because we have sinned against the Lord. We looked for peace, but no good came, and for a time of health, and behold, trouble. The snorting of his horses was heard from Dan. The whole land trembled at the sound of the neighing of his strong ones. For they are come, and have devoured the land and all that is in it, the city and those that dwell therein. For behold, I will send serpents, cockatrices among you, which will not be charmed, and they shall bite you, saith the Lord. When I would comfort myself against sorrow, my heart is faint in me. Behold, the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people because of them that dwell in a far country. Is not the Lord in Zion? Is not her king in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their graven images and with strange vanities? The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black, <coughs> astonishment hath taken hold on me. Is there no balm in Gilead? 
Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Amen. Well, what do we have here? <clears throat> In chapter 5, we see the justice of God's judgment. Chapter 6, we see the siege of Jerusalem. Chapter 7, we see the false trust in the temple. And then chapter 8, sin and judgment. Jeremiah's mourn for his people. You know, as I, as I listen to the word of God, <clears throat> you know, it, it, it's very, very interesting how Israel slid back against the Lord. And you know, they are easily forgotten about how God saved them from Egypt. And now they 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 not only rejected the law of God, but, but they rejected God himself. And God was, was not only God was you know, slow to anger, he was pleading to Israel, come back to me. That's, that, that's, why, that's why God says uh, the daughter of Zion or, or um, the cry of the daughter of my people. God uses phrase to be a picture of, of a daughter and, and and father relationship. Same thing with, with Israel and God. God is trying to treat Israel as his daughter. And yet people don't understand the fullness that, that God is trying to express through Jeremiah. Number one, we see that justice of God's judgment. See, God is a judge. God is holy. They cannot do what the other nations are doing because they knew that if they go backslidden, if they if they if they forget the, the the laws of God, even through their lives, God will see that, and God will, will ask, or give you a chance to repent, and if you refuse to repent, here comes the judgment. You know, it, it, it's God's way of telling you, hey, you are going away from my presence, come back, come back. Before, before I have to send judgment upon you, and and we see how how God is trying to give them time to repent of of, of worshiping graven images or or with with strange vanities or 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 you know whatever that they are doing. <clears throat> God is trying to warn them before the judgment comes. And so and so in our walk with the Lord, you know, if we slip back, if we if we uh gone astray a little, you know, God is giving us time to repent. And you got to repent now because the longer you wait, in the last minute, God will send the judgment upon you. We know for a fact that God created a contract in Deuteronomy chapter 28. In that contract, we see God telling the people of Israel, like, hey, you know, do, you know, do my will, do my laws, and I will bless you. But if you turn away, if you rejected my law, if you rejected me, I will curse you. There's no way around it. Same thing in the old, in the New Testament. You know, we got to be 
not only be saved by the Lord Jesus Christ, but we got to be covered under His blood. It, it is that important to God. Number two, don't believe in false prophets. You know, you know, the, you know I, I encourage every believer that is watching this sermon right now. Go ahead and test what I'm saying. You know, don't rely on what I say. Rely on what God's word says. You know, when we when we get together as a body of Christ and we and we look at Scripture, and that we reflect upon that Scripture, and seeing that how we, you know, we 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 are called to be doers of the word, and so whatever what Jeremiah is 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 trying to say, you got to learn how to interpret what Jeremiah is expressing. Through a chapter, and once we understand the, the 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 interpretation of scripture, now we can get to uh to to apply it to our lives. You know, the the art of hermeneutics, it's is the science of interpreting scripture, and I encourage every believer to study a little bit about. Hermeneutics and and how to interpret the scripture on your own, you know. Last thing I want to say: Let us mourn for the world. The world is lost. Many babies are getting killed by abortion, and yet many many people. Making an excuse that abortion is evil, yes, it is, but 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 you fornicated and you became pregnant. See, when when people point out abortion is evil, they need to look at what caused the abortion in the first place, it's fornication. That is a huge problem. And most women between, I don't know, between 18 to 25, they're not planning on having kids until they either finish their college degree or, or if they are working after high school, then working on her work ethic and working on her goals before before getting a child, you know, but the, the, there's certain things that that we mourn about that we wanted to um, make the big difference on the world. You know, uh, this week is my first month working at Walmart, and what I'm learning is that if I want to be a servant of the Most High God. I gotta be a a a lover of people, even through even through the the craziest customers that I encountered, or the or the rudest customer that I encountered. I want to share the love of God to that person. Period. You know, even even if they even even if that customer is being too rude to me to the point where. They got to leave the store. I try to help them out. But but they can't help themselves. Because they are angry at me. Of whatever. Of whatever their boyfriend or their girlfriend. Or whatever family issue that they have. Towards anger towards me. But. The lesson of this is that. We need to be aware of what we are. Oh, sorry. We need to be aware not only what the times that we are living in, but also where are we in our faith to uh, to notice a difference in our understanding of Scripture. It's, it's, it's very, very crucial to understand this. 
as the body of Christ. So, that's my two cents there. I hope you guys enjoyed this sermon. Uh, may God bless you. May God keep you. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Tune, uh, tune in soon.